Say goodbye to the north side of Pincho. Say hello to the top of Pincho. Let's head south. And first one's up on top today. How about that? How about that? How about that? storms all day today. Hopefully we get more of that in the distance. Enjoy. We'll be going down this way to the right and go down between that valley to the right. And where we came from See where we camp too. Camped. Way down there. Right by that little blackish rock. Water in the top next to the water. That's where we were. Alright. Where the man out. All right, joy ride. Let's go this way for a second. What do you do when you're the first one on top of a mountain peak? You take your joy ride kazoo and blow. So that's where we came from. That dip right there. That's what you get. Not in that direction. It's like the neighbors on this side didn't clean up their trash. <laughs> Weather man out. Well, that's what we're walking into. It's been raining. What? Had some snow flurries. And there's a rainbow. How about that? Oh, it's a full rainbow. Nice. Oh Lord, we pray that it doesn't come our way. But as you can see, it's it's raining. Weatherman out. This is actually the third rainbow we've seen today. Maybe it's a sign it won't rain on us. Now remember, the rainbow is a sign that God promised it wouldn't flood the world again. So, they just won't flood this trail either. <laughs> Weather me out.
Now, depending on the weather, 6.1 miles. If not, we stop here. All right, guys. Let's take you on the suspension bridge. I'm not gonna use hands, so it's gonna get a little wobbly. funny I've crossed other water bigger than this Whoa. don't look at yourself high across it that hurt all right and out Gonna try to do it without touching anything. It's a dope move. Look at that balance. That's what happens when you're a yoga instructor. Holy cow. That's... <laughs> that was a boss move. It didn't even move. I'm like waddling back and forth. That's dumb. Alright. Oh, I'll leave you with this. A ranger drew that. I love it. So here we are again. It's uh, only 8.7 miles because we stopped at the bridge. So we stopped at suspension bridge. Uh, rain took over. Been kind of huddled in here for a bit. Checking out some flies. This guy's been eating other flies. This guy, right? Hmm. Your next bud. So, um, yeah. But right before the rain, we jumped in the water. That was awesome. And, uh, oh, I made some irrigation work here. But, uh, I'll show you. Playing in the mud. <laughs> Sounds like rain's stopping for a moment, but it doesn't matter. All right, that's happening. Hopefully we're further along tomorrow. Maybe man out. All right, everybody. So it's uh, six ten. Left about five twenty, almost an hour ago. And uh, today we gotta go kind of far, over at least over fifteen miles. Have to to catch up. The rain killed us. Uh, only went eight point seven miles yesterday. So today uh, we get to Dollar Lake. Arrowhead Lake, Ray Lakes, then Glen Pass. After that, uh, down, down, down to the start of Forester. We'll see where that takes us. I'll leave you with this shot. That's where it came from. Down at the bottom, way down there. Where they may not. And on this trail, you can get horses. Or in this case, it looks like a mule. It's tough. Pack riders. That would be a good show. Pack riders. Alright. Weatherman out. 
Hee-haw. Part of the hiker's journey is trying to keep their feet dry. Swing from the poles. Just down here. This guy's running. Look at him. No poles. He's got his food in his hands. He's doing the whole trail. That guy's a beast. You do it, brother. <laughs> I know. Hey, right, where is he at? Don't worry, he's gonna come right back in a frame. And here I thought I was struggling. <laughs> wow, all right. Do you think I'm filming this just in case he falls? Partly, partly. Uh, all right, weather man out. All right, there's Cliff Squatter. And at the top, that is Glen Pass. I'm gonna switch back our way up in here. You might be able to see him. Yeah. That's next. We've got five sections on this trail. About to end section four. All right. Where they out. All right, there's the, the rocks of life. And this is the top. Our goal is to get up here at 12 o'clock this morning. It's exactly 12. Nailed it. This is the peak right here I'm standing on. Hey, 
you go. Check that out. There's not much of a side to this thing, by the way. All right, look for our Christmas card. Let's go. Hiker out. All right, hikers, we just uh, got back from Glen Pass. Now we got a marker here. This is the first time we've had any bear info the whole time. Yeah, Bears was... have gotten food from hikers in this area and will continue to try to get your food. Keep all food and scented items either in a locked bear canister, a food storage locker, a backpack on your back, or in your hands. Never leave food unattended. If you see a bear, chase it like you are trying to catch it and eat it. <laughs> they will run away in terror. <laughs> Loud noises help, but only sort of work on their own. Thank you for helping take care of these amazing... That's <laughs> really funny. That's, that's hilarious. Trying to catch it and eat it. Oh my god. Uh, we're headed to Vedette Meadows <coughs> and <clears throat> beyond. That's funny. All right. Chase after the bears, guys. If you see a bear, chase it. Chase it down. <laughs> All right. If you've been watching, where are they headed next? Down there. And. That is, that is Forrester, somewhere, that's part of it, 6.8 miles, weatherman out. Hikers, we have made it to our, our place, a refuge, uh, it's about four miles, four and a half to uh, our next pass, Forester, which is my favorite. But you gotta see this watering hole. This is crazy. Let me show you this. I know what you're thinking. Did you jump in there? I did, let me show you where. So take a look at that. I walked in from here. Home bathtub, a bathtub. But on the other side, Cool. Yeah. It's a cool campsite. It is. Okay. We are off. And, uh, sun's out. Six o'clock, exactly. Next to the cool waterfall. We were in bear country, by the way. No bears. Man, I got way more gray hair than I thought. Huh. Not cool. All right. So we went 15.4 miles yesterday. We have six days left of our hike. Today is Thursday. 
tomorrow we'll get to Guitar Lake. And then on Saturday we summit Whitney at 2 a.m. That's the plan. Weather went out. Take a look, folks. We're getting water, water break. What does a water break look like? Let me show you. So this is a steery pin, steery pin. Can you, and it goes right inside. grew up in that safe society and everyone Right. Here. Right. And it lights up. Is it lit up? There it goes. It's like a lightsaber. Ah. I know there's another way to get uh, your water. Filter like this, then he pours it in to his water bottle. We'll meet him in a second. But we're going up. And it's actually there. Here's the top. Here is. Here's the other way to get water. Right here, Albert's doing a good job. Albert, where are you from? Uh, Chicago, born in Holland. Love it. Yeah. yeah. And you love the Sierras first time? First time. I love it. Love it. The best backpacking I ever done. And I've done some, some cool stuff, but you can't beat this stuff. There you go. See, so you can't beat it. Nope. All right, you know guys. What I did like about Austrian backpacking is all the huts. Here goes Cliff Squatter. And check that out. I want you guys to see this lake here. Look how clear that is. And would you believe it? Albert's still here. There. He's doing great. Not there yet. All right, folks, this is it. Albert's ready. Clouds are ready. The people are ready. They're ready to cheer. Top of Forester Pass. Let's do it. I want you to hear my panting. All right. Okay, I got that fixed. Almost there. To the top we go. Whew. And the crowd cheers! Yeah! There it is. I'll pay him later and applause myself. And there's the top. Score. There's the part. Wider view. Yeah, even this on the trail. Thank you. Good job, you guys. I know Thank it's you. tough. How you guys doing? Great. Thank 
Good job, guys. You gotta go all the way up in that crevice. But why are they sitting down? Because there's more. Here they come. A little fast forward in time. You guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. I know it's not easy. No, oh no. Good luck up there. Good job, you guys. These guys are strong. Great job. Well, we heard you're an amazing chef. <laughs> Two. And hold up the rear right here. Good job, my friend. He does it without poles. How many times a season do you do the trail? How many times a season do you do the trail? Um, in different sections. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. All right, everybody, hikers, check this out. So we got the we got a rainbow here, and then to get closer to the sun, got another rainbow. All right, so let's give you a little in, uh, insight. So this is just moisture in the air, water crystals being caught at a certain angle. We get that from the sun. However, <laughs> the Native Americans say when there is a rainbow around the sun or the moon at night that means it's gonna rain and we don't want to rain no, no. no. we had too much of it rain. no rain so I really hope that that Native American thing is uh, just a myth reality is Do it. Oh, baby. Yeah. Got a friend over here. All right, everybody. Uh, interesting turn of events here at the very end of our day. Uh, we we ended a bit early. Campsite next to the next to the sweet water. So great. Um, but here's the interesting turn of events, and it deals with the clouds. Take a look at these clouds. Is it gonna rain? No. <clears throat> but coming from the west. And I think, as I put the weather man hat on, repping Eyewitness News, um, I think that a cold front's kind of come in. And uh, it's not the monsoon. We dealt with the monsoon early on. It was really hot. Today was warm, but I think things are changing here. So that means could have a different side of thunderstorms coming our way. 
Hmm. Just that. Either way, um, I'll have an update for you on how many miles we walked today. Maybe in another video for today or tomorrow morning. Hey hikers, let me give you guys uh, some camp life etiquette or like some things you may not have known. First off, how do you keep this phone working? I mean, how do these shots keep happening? Let me show you. We have a charger and it goes to a power pack. So there's that. All right, uh, when you're drying your clothes, it helps out to have a tree that you can use or a clothesline. Clothesline's good. And uh, since you can see a uh, icebreaker, let's go there. Great clothes. It's made out of wool. It comes out of New Zealand, I believe. This is the same thing. Had this for a long time. Dries real quick. This is just is basically dry now. So that's good stuff. Plus, always uh, have when you go camping canisters. Let's check them out. All right, we have our food canisters. Normally, we have less, but remember, we started with four people. Now we're down to two. And uh, inside, you want to keep this far enough away from your your tent. See some of the food that we have in there. In another video, we'll cover. The food, it hasn't changed every day. There's our tent. It's kind of a little bit of a way off. I'm not too concerned about bears here. Um, although there is a bear bot. Right over there. Other rule of thumb. If you get to the campsite first, you get the best one. And we did. Like literally. Right here. Right where I got in the water. You can't beat that. Now, if you don't like the sound of roaring water, that's not gonna be great 
for your your sleeping abilities, but doesn't bother me one bit, nor my wife. So you have it. All right. Storm cloud in the distance. Will it rain? Forecast. Our future is looking pretty sunny. Weatherman out. Oh. We went 9.9 .9 miles today. Not that far. And tomorrow will be 13. But it will be a lot easier. Alright. See you tomorrow morning.